a really good question that I get a lot is how do I know I can pull this calf? And the, the best way to understand it is just to know what normal is. So in this demonstration, this cow is having her calf in a normal presentation. Normal presentation in birth is two feet and a nose. So maybe she's been progressing for a while, but these feet just aren't moving any farther. And you reach in and you can feel both feet that are, the hooves are facing the ground. That's normal. And the head is coming up right in between both of those feet. This is normal. As long as I can run my hand up and over this head and I feel that there's enough space and you feel confident, you can go ahead and help this cow by putting the straps on and giving her a pull. You do not at any time pull if there's only one foot or no head or just a head and no feet. You just only pull if you have two feet and a head because those chains are going to go on the feet and it's going to work its way through the birth canal. If you're ever unsure and you just don't think that you're in the right position or maybe you feel like it's just too tight, this is when you call your veterinarian for help. Never be afraid to do that. So this is a heifer that maybe you have noticed that she's been calving for a while, and calving just means she's been straining, she's been uncomfortable, but you haven't seen any progress. You may not even see any feet at this point, or if you do, they look a little different than maybe the other presentations that you've seen. You get her caught, after you've cleaned her all up, you're gonna go to reach in, and you notice that these feet, now, you can see the hooves, if you can get them out this far, these hooves are actually facing the sky. This is a telltale sign that this calf is backwards because of the way that the joint moves. If you see two feet that are facing up, this means the calf is coming the backwards way. This is not the normal way. A calf can be born this way, but a lot of times she needs some help. So to confirm it, if you're not quite sure about the feet, maybe you can't pull as far either, but you can feel hocks. If you follow it all the way up, you'll feel a hock that's right here. It's easy to see it this way. You probably won't see it that far. But obviously, if you go a little bit farther, you're going to see a tail. Okay? You're going to feel that tail. You might not see it, but you'll definitely feel it. At this point, you can try and pull. But if you're ever uncomfortable or you're just not sure or maybe you only see a few feet and you notice that, that it's not making any progress, this is when you call your veterinarian. And then they can help you get that calf out. A cow can have a calf backwards but it takes a little bit more work. So if at any time you're concerned or you're, you're just not sure, always call your veterinarian. So a, a really important question that you're gonna get asked if you call your veterinarian for help is what's been going on and what do I see? This is where it's really important to remember the three stages of labor. Um, remember stage one is where she's really restless. She's pacing back and forth in the pen. She may be urinating, defecating, getting up, laying down, kicking at her belly. And this can last anywhere from a couple hours to 24 hours. But you know something's gonna happen. Stage two is gonna be when this calf actually engages up into the birth canal and you're gonna start to see those membranes or that water bag that you're familiar with seeing. And this can vary and veterinarians have different opinions on how long you should wait to, at, to call, so I would definitely talk to your personal veterinarian first to make that relationship. But in my case, if she's in stage two and I see a water bag, but I haven't seen any progression and she is um, a first-time calf, she's a first-time heifer, then I'm gonna say, you know, if she's gone 45 minutes and I don't see any change, then I would be calling for help or getting her in and feeling what you feel. If you get her in, and you can feel that those feet are there, but you're just not sure. If at any time you're just not sure, you should always call your veterinarian. But if you know that she's not progressing, or if maybe you see a foot after 45 minutes, but you can't see the other foot, or maybe you only see two inches of the feet and you don't have all six inches, you know, you should just see gradual progression over time. If at any time that isn't happening, then you want to call your veterinarian. And you want to explain to them when you started to see things, what she's currently doing now, and, and basically they'll kind of walk you through it and you, between you and that veterinarian, you'll have your relationship built on where you need to go, whether that's coming to you or you haul it into the clinic just to get you some help. So never be afraid to call. Mm -hmm.